What's up YouTube? It's Mike here back with another video. I'm draining down the 1500 gallon aquarium again. again. I have to get inside the tank again, add a bunch more rocks and decor to this tank and try to protect some of the seams and whatnot from the rays chewing on them. We're gonna get into that in this video today. If you haven't already, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Ring that notification bell for notifications, and if you like the video, please like the video. So a bunch of these smaller rocks were moved by the big fish, which I anticipated would probably happen. And I do have to be careful with putting rocks anywhere near some of these panels, because I don't want a fish to spook and hit one of the rocks and then hit the glass and possibly chip or break the glass. So I have to be really careful with how I place these rocks. But anyway, um, I would have put more rocks in when I was in here a few weeks ago, but I just didn't have them. So I've got a good opportunity to go get some free rocks from a uh, gravel pit. So we're gonna go grab a bunch of rocks that I like, and then we're gonna bring them back and clean them and put them in the tank. I got an opportunity from my uncle to get a bunch of free rocks here, so we've got a lot of rocks. It's a big mess, but I've got all different sizes and shapes to pick from. So I'm gonna try to get stuff with somewhat of a flat side, at least a little bit of a flat side, but I need stuff kind of like this size, whereas like the fish can't move it. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna look through, find what I can. I do have a couple, but I just moved over uh, to this because I got a lot more options here. I didn't go too crazy, but I've got a lot of rocks, a lot of big ones. They look bigger on camera than they really are, I think. Um, it's like I want more, but it might be unnecessary, so I'm not gonna go crazy. It is a good opportunity to get rock but, for free, but I don't wanna go too crazy with it, so I think I'm gonna call it there. Those are gonna serve a purpose that I need them to, and uh, we'll get them in a the tank. So I got all the rocks I'm gonna use back. I'm gonna power wash them on the driveway here, clean them up, let them dry out, and then we'll add them to the tank. Okay, so my old power washer is a piece of junk. It was super cheap but it lasted me four years. Anyway, it's broken, it doesn't work. So I grabbed a new piece of junk, really cheap electric one, and uh, now we're gonna power wash with the new one. So we are pumping water out, which will be a little slow, but I'll come back in a little bit once it's uh, once it's down a ways, and then I'll have to shut off the pumps. And uh, yeah, unfortunately the tank is so tall, I need to lower the water level below uh, the drains. So I actually have to shut off filtration to do this, and I had to do this last time, it's a big pain in the butt. Thank you. 
that didn't go as well as I wanted. Last thing I want to do is have to get in there again, but I'm going to have to get in there again. A couple reasons. Some of you guys might remember a few videos ago, we got this giant piece of driftwood from the driftwood outlet on Instagram. And I still have not uh, completely put this together and I haven't figured out exactly how I want to weigh it down with rocks. Once I figure out exactly what I want to do with this and how I want to weigh it down, I'm gonna have to get back in the tank. But here we are, this is what it looks like. I'm not super happy with a few things. One, I should not have placed this big rock here. I think it's stupid. I should have put it in the corner here and swapped it out for a smaller one. Uh, I mean, no matter what, I'm probably not gonna like this. So it is what it is. The other thing I have to decide if I wanna put more rocks and like do the whole outer barrier, um, something I'm a little concerned about, this panel, this glass panel goes all the way down to the floor. So I really had to be careful here with these ones, especially because the fish like this corner. So I don't want anything spooking and hitting the glass. I talked about that earlier, but it's a real worry for me. It's something you really have to take serious with this, even with this tall one. So it's embedded in the sand. I tried to embed all of them in sand so they can't really rock back and forth, but still I got to worry about them. So. You know, I don't like that big one. I'm probably gonna move that at some point when I go back in to put this in. But it's okay, it could be worse. Um, it's not what I like. I'd rather a nice wide open tank for a few reasons. This is gonna catch a lot of detritus. That's a whole nother problem. Um, I'm willing to accept that and deal with that as it comes. But yeah, uh, you know, not ideal decor, especially because nothing can even use it to hide. So it's like pointless decor other than just to protect the tank. Another thing, terrible, terrible news. So you guys might notice the Gar and the Oscar are gone. So what I did was I moved the Florida Gar and the Oscar to over here. And the reason why is because the alligator Gar killed my long nose Gar, my smaller long nose Gar. Um, he didn't need it, he just shredded it. And yeah, uh, really, really upsetting. Just another loss. Within the last few months, I've had a bunch of losses that have been really hard. That was by far um, one of my favorite guards I've ever kept. And uh, it was super, super upsetting to see, it, to lose him. So I moved the other gar and the uh, Oscar because they're the only other small fish in there. I don't want to risk anything else. I don't want to risk the gator killing anything else, basically. That's the first fish that he's ever killed in my possession, so I didn't really expect that. I knew it was possible. He could pretty much kill probably anything in there if he really wanted to. But in general, I don't think like he's trying to kill anything. He's just a predatory fish who wants to eat. Once he realized he couldn't eat it, he just let it go and he stopped, he stopped uh, even trying. So regardless, what I'm doing now is just trying to make sure there's nothing in there that he could kill. So uh, we got those two over here. I think I'll be trying to move this guy back again for a short time. I'm probably gonna move this short body. I've talked about that. I'm gonna move both of them over to here. The ray I'll probably have to move back, but I'll try, uh, I'll try having that ray over here for a little bit, see how the aggression is, and uh, see how he deals with the females also. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I know it was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed the footage. It's always interesting having to get inside the tanks. So uh, not fun, but definitely interesting to watch anyway. Again, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell for notifications. If you like the video, like the video. Follow me on Instagram at Off the Deep End Aquatics, and I will see you guys in that next one. Thanks.